Let's see what happens, Peter. Uh, your early assessment of this final between Ez Ezekiel Lau and Joao Chianca. Very, very eager and uh, I would say even um, experienced crew between Joao Chianca and Ezekiel Lau here. I mean, obviously, Ezekiel Lau probably having a bit more experience than Joao, but uh, both championship tour caliber surfers here in the final, um, both exciting and raw, and I expect uh, fireworks here. He definitely was kicking and scratching. He was in better position, and that's what it took was the fact that he put himself in a better position. This wave shut down pretty quickly, but beautiful work there just to bash that lip. I mean, a very strong maneuver. Just unfortunate that he didn't get this completion because that would have solidified the score in a big way. We know full well, even if you get the rotation, you got to ride out in front of that white water for those judges upstairs to deem it complete. So really going to get a score just for that one maneuver. And uh, I think he's obviously been looking out at it. And sorry, I just dropped right in on John Mitchell here. <laughs> But uh, I thought you said Mel. There, with that separation, able to get this wave under priority, throws the tail, spins it around, and that's exactly what he was looking for as he just distanced himself from Joao Chianca. So he got the outside maneuver now, bouncing to the inside shore break. Moving down the line, looking for finish, throws the air wow. in the shore break, clicks it. So Going to add a little bit of points, but this right, Pete, is definitely the best way of the heat to yeah, me. Yeah, a little tail whip reverse out there again, showing a little point of difference on a little softer wave. Of course, uh, the inside, I love what he's able to do here. Again, just going up and over, getting nice pop with that EPS to Coro, and he'll make sure that he's going to ride it out. And, of course, looking up the judges, see, look, I'm out front. So he stuck to the left almost all event long. A great turn on the back end, and that's kind of his dynamic and spicy surfing that he's presented with that CI Pro. But as you were saying here, just not able to time that section well. Uh, whereas Shianka really got that nice, strong backside hook, and really that was kind of it. Here goes Zeke, looking left, winding up the hatchet and chops it down, but pokes the nose, pearls incomplete. Yeah, I mean, for a big guy, that section right there where it starts to go flat real quick. This one is just, or sorry. 19 and an eighth. This one is 19. So it's just slightly different. A little longer, a little narrower. But EPS technology, Ooh. meaning it's got a styrofoam core well, rather than EPS a PU core. Floating nicely on this wave right now. A couple turns out the back for Ezekiel Lau. Making his way into the shore break. Fades left. Now he's going to go right. And Zeke with the big snap to finish there. But I agree with you, Pete. Zeke has had excellent wave choice all week long. That's the kind of setup turn, but the second one right there, nice and snappy under the lip. That's what that EPS does. It gives you that little quickness in the maneuver. You can see it's a distinct point of difference. Again, nice strong finish, a little snap. It's a replay, Mitchell, of Joao Chianca. Yeah, beautiful first turn, and how is that elongated bottom turn, too? Not easy to... Chianca with priority. He's going to take it left again into the pier, looking down the line. Vert little snap down speeding through that second turn, pokes mm. the nose, incomplete. Now some chance for Ezekiel out to answer back. Zeke needing 4.8 to turn this heat, and Zeke with priority. And a diversity of scores that Zeke has had as we're seeing the replay right here. Another left, a great turn right there. Just seems like the section wasn't standing up as much as his other two scores though. But we are talking about that kind of diversity of waves that he's caught over the course of this, this event. To me, it just seems like he's, he's such a good headspace, knowing that he's won here and he's had a lot of competitive. Wow, look at this set. Set looming, priority with Joao Chianco, Shumbino, a little soft carve off the top there, a lot of space, bangs the oncoming section, wants to maintain forward momentum as the waves converge. Not gonna give him a chance to continue with that energy into the shore break. Chianco, however, does have the lead over Ezekiel Lau. Priority switches to Ezekiel Lau at this moment, Mitch. It seems to me that Joao hasn't had that before, and in these high pressure situations, that could make a big difference. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, again, there's a bit of an error here. All right, so here we go with Joao Chianca, and uh, he's going down the line, and a big throw tail there on that oncoming section, looking just so light. Looks back to see what Ezekiel <laughs> Lau's doing before he connects to the shore break. Now, Shumbino paying attention to what's wow. in front of him with a big vertical. And then this was Joao's right on cue, Pete, as you were saying. You want to see somebody go right? Beautiful layback right here. I mean, that's committed. You know, he's, he fully laid into it. I'm just going to say one thing, though. 
Yeah. The section was much flatter. Yep. It was a much easier section. I would agree. I would say this last turn, though, is the hardest one out of the two. Oh. Replay, Mitchell. Yeah, so this was what Zeke did on the outside. Good first turn right there, up and over the lip, and an even better second one. This should score well for Zeke. And I love that he just like turns this around. One up on the inside. Here's a replay that Ooh. Wow, this happened during okay. us catching up on those replays. So Joao really active out here. But he needs to understand that if there is a set wave, he's got to choose the best one of it. He's just going to let Joao go on this one, seeing that it has a bit of a shoulder. He's not even looking at this one. Smart. And he was smart decision. <laughs> That's what it right is. There. I mean, those choices have to be correct choices. You know, um, if he sees that there's going to be a wave, a little extra energy in it, a little double up on it, he's got to take it, and he's got to improve on the 5-5. Five five. Inside rail, outside rail on the outside section, best wave of the heat. Live action, couple hooks from Joao Chianca moving down the line with speed and a pretty gutless wave, so amazing how much speed he's able to generate tic-tacking through the flat water here for the connection. Gets the connection to the shorey, throws it wow. up, and exaggerated snap at the end by Joao Chianca selling the judges, selling the judges a 6.18 or better. Let's take a look at the replay. Beautiful hook that again spray off the rail, straight back into that next section. Love it where he's going straight to the bottom. I don't know how he was able to get that much speed across those flatter section there and really. Go on the first one though. Take away the opportunity right here in my opinion. He's gonna let Ooh. Joao go on this one. Chianca late to that but pulls it down pretty dynamic maneuver on the outside and now just cruising not using too much energy through this midsection he knows he's going to need a spectacular finish on the shore and this wave double triples up with a bunch of steps and late to the lip there so that's not going to be the 6.18 uh, he's calling it a heat. That's it with a minute to go. You know, how much are you giving to the inside section right there where it's dirty, it's late to the section, and now here goes Zeke, the heat leader. And this is just going to be a ride to the beach because likely Joao Gianca is not going to get the number. But we're unable to make it official as of yet. Numbers trickling through for Joao Gianca. It's not oh. going to be enough. So right now you're watching the final ride for the 2022 Vans U.S. Open of Surfing champion. Give it up as he hits the beach for Ezekiel Lau and the Hawaiian corner is going wild. He's going to move up into the top 15 and with this result right here, getting the hug there from his boy Keanu Singh. Huge result for Hawaii right here on Ezekiel Lau. Josh Moniz and Keanu Singh in the shore break to greet their good friend and congratulate him on a tremendous win. Again, your 2022 Vans U.S. Open of Surfing champion, Ezekiel Lau, is going to enjoy this chair up the beach. Is there a better feeling, Pete?